And Vice President Mike Pence is making history as he became the first sitting VP to address the annual March for Life. He told the tens of thousands of people protesting the legalization of abortion rights that the Trump administration supports their cause. As NBC's er Edward Lawrence reports, Pence promises action will be taken. Anti-abortion protesters march on Washington every year. This time, the man second in line at the White House led the charge. This administration will work with the Congress to end taxpayer funding of abortion and abortion <laughs> providers. A sea of people walk from the Washington Monument to the Supreme Court. Everyone is here for one reason, united to end abortions. Mostly because my mom had me when she was 17 and in a bad situation, so... I'm here for that. So it's very personal to you. It is. Advocates are encouraged that President Donald Trump express support for the anti-abortion cause. We're just trying to stand up for the for the you know the orphans and we're trying to stand up for the unborn and we're trying to stand up for life and um, we're going to do it in a positive way. Sarah Wilkinson brought her adopted daughter Destiny to add their voices. Dave Allard traveled by bus 11 hours from Pontiac, Michigan with 47 students from his high school. He thinks any of the judges on the president's short list for the Supreme Court will help their cause. We have people who could be open to a message that, that everyone is a person, that unborn uh, children deserve rights and respect and protection. Go save the babies in the world. While these marchers are passionate about their cause, a new Pew Research study shows a sharp divide. 59% of Americans believe abortion should be legal in all or most cases. 37% say it should be illegal. President Donald Trump says that he will make his Supreme Court justice pick next Thursday. The marchers here say that they don't expect Roe v. Wade to be overturned this year, but that day is one step closer. Edward Lawrence, NBC News, Washington.